Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler Stutzman back here with another video. Welcome to a Saturday edition of <clears throat> Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be a little different. It's going to use the same four chords. It's going to use four chords, but we're going to be doing it a little different today. It's a little different. <clears throat> different song. It's going to use the same four chords, G, C, E minor, D. Those four chords, two beats per chord, but... The way the chords are designed is just a little bit different. So this lesson is going to be a little bit longer. We're going to take some time to just uh, make the video and just kind of walk through it. So if you need to pause the video, get yourself something to drink, you need a little snack or something, go right ahead and get yourself something to drink. Whatever you need to get, this video is going to be pretty long. <clears throat> it's called Small Town USA by Justin Mora. Uh, believe it or not, um, we're... Um, we're just filming videos, this this this, ser this series, um, probably be 10 episodes in one season. So, <clears throat> already, uh, by now, by the time you're seeing this, we'll have <clears throat> three other episodes out. So, but uh, let's get into this lesson also. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below saying you subscribe, you'll get shouted out in the uh, next video. So, um, in my next regular video. These videos are like uh, it is February tenth when I when I recorded this video, so when we filmed this segment. So hope you guys like it. We're gonna get into the lesson. Let's get into the lesson. All right, um, we're gonna be in standard tuning. Um, no capo. Um, yeah, no capo. So uh, if you um, if you uh, need to change the octave of the song, more than likely you probably could throw the capo wherever you need it. But the uh, chords are G, D, C, and E minor. But the way the, the way the chord progression is is kind of different. It's not, you know, G, C, E minor, D, like wagon wheel. It's not like wagon wheel where you're doing two C's, or two G's, two D's, two E minors. Two C's. I'm going to go to G, D, C. It's not like that. This one's a little different. So that's why I said this video is going to be a little bit longer. If you needed to get something to drink, even if you need to stop the video right now to do it, go ahead and do it. But <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the lesson. Now the intro is going to be, it's two beats per chord. So you're going one, two, one, two, one, two. You're doing that twice. It's two beats per chord, but you're doing it twice. So two G's, two D's, two C's. Two G's, two D's, two C's. That's for the intro. <clears throat> now we get into the first verse. The first verse goes two G's, two D's, two C's, back D again. <clears throat> so, so, but again, just so you're going in that first verse, you're going G, D, C, D. Okay, a lot of people come to prison. So basically, I'm not going to sing it, but it's two beats. So one, two, D for two, C for two, back to D for two again. And now we get into the second line of the verse. Right, the first line is a lot of people called it prison when I was growing up. These are my roots, and this is what I love. Okay, now that is two G's. If you're not sure how I play those, I keep. These two fingers on the two bottom strings. Keep the bottom two strings locked. G, C, D, E minor. G here on the fifth and sixth. Right here. C, E minor right in between here. And then D. So, <clears throat> but these are my roots and this is what I love. Two G's. Two D's. Two C's. Okay, and then we go to 
Because everyone knows me and I know them. Two C's. Two G's. Two D's. And then. And I believe that's the way we're supposed to live. Two C's. Two D's. And then back to C. G for two. D for two. And then you're going back to C again. So in that first verse, it's two G's, two D's, two C's, two D's. And then you're going back to C again for two, D for two, C for two, G for two, D for two, C for two, D for two, C for two, D for two. Back to C again for two. <clears throat> That's how that first verse goes. Now we get into the chorus. Now into the chorus. Chorus is a little bit different. Okay. Chorus is two G's. Then a D for two. C for two. So there might be a C for four, actually. Because, uh, <clears throat> give me a Friday night with... Give me a Saturday night, my baby, by my side, a little Hank Jr. and a six-pack of lights. Little Hank Jr. and a six-pack of lights. Yeah, so it's actually four count on that, on that, <clears throat> a little Hank Jr. and a six-pack of lights. It's a little different there. You're doing four C's. Little Hank Jr. and a six-pack of lights. So, again, <clears throat> two C's, two D's, four C's, back to G, D, so, again, the song is kind of a little complicated, but, um, you just, once you get that timing down, so, Give me a Saturday night, my baby by my side, and a little Hank Jr. and a six pack of lights. And we'll mow the road, and I'll be just fine. Give me a Sunday morning that's full of grace, live a little simple life, and I'll be okay. But, <clears throat> again, that entire chorus is two C's. Two D's, four C's, back to G for two, D for two, C for two, D for two, back to C again for two, C for two, or G for two, <clears throat> D for two, E minor for two, G for two, G for two again, D for two, and then you go back to the G again for two, D for two, C for two, again G for two, D for two, C for two. And then we get into the second verse. And then we get into the second verse. Okay? Second verse, two G's, two D's, two C's. And then back to G again for two, D for two, C for two, C, <clears throat> back to G again for two, D for two, C for two, D for two, C again for four, and back to D again for two, and then to C for two. And then back to that chorus again. And we're right back to that chorus again. Two G's, two D's, four C's, G for two, D for two, C for two, and D for two again, and then G for two, G for two, D for two, E minor for two, G for two, G for two again, D for two, and then back to that G for two, D for two, C for two, 
Deeper two. Deeper two. Deeper two. And then you get into that break. Then there's that break in there. Well, that's basically. And then you have that last course with that break. <clears throat> is two C's. One G. Back to G and C again. So you're going two C's. One G. C again. C for two. D for two. So the, really, the only really tricky part is going to be that break. Wouldn't trade one single day. So it's wouldn't trade one single day. So you're just you're going from C for two, one, two, G for one, two, three to C's, and then back to C again for two, D for two, and then you go right back into that chorus again. Two G's. Two D's, two to four C's, back to G again, then D for two, C for two, D for two, D for two. Actually, yeah, you're doing two G, four D's, but you're doing them in two, one, two, one, two, E minor for two, C for two, or G for two. G for two again, D for two, and then you get into that G for two, D for two, C for two, G for two, D for two, C for two. But pretty much all there is to it. So tricky song to play, but once you, I'm using very uh, course from UltimateGuitar.com. A link will be in the description. Every song that I teach. I'll be doing links, <clears throat> putting links from ultimateguitar.com right down in the description of the video. So if you want to learn it, again, it's kind of tricky. So but just follow the video um, again. <clears throat> but uh, someone also asked me, well, what about Wagon Wheel? I've had a lot of requests for this one. I'm, by the time you're seeing this, that video will already be up. But you're capoing the second fret. You're capoing the second fret, and you're doing two Gs. Two D's, two minors, two C's, two G's, two D's, two C's. The whole song. Like that first verse of the song is two G's, two D's, two E minors, two C's, two G's, two D's, two C's. But anyway, that's, that lesson's already up, so by the time you're seeing this, that lesson will already be done and up. So, but shoot some more requests my way, if you have any more requests, um, just, I try not to do songs with bar chords, they're pretty, those kind of songs are pretty hard to do. But uh, there is one song that's coming up that has a B minor in it, but it's really, don't let the B minor confuse you, Okay. A B minor is the bar chord. Okay, but don't let it confuse you. You can play it like the A minor, first string, third and fourth, uh, fourth and third. You slide it down to, or you can play it in my simple way, the way I figured it. Well, they say it's first string like this, first finger here. On the fifth string, seven or uh, second finger on the third string, and then this finger on the fifth first string, the third and the second string, and your third finger on the second string. So first finger here, second finger right here, third finger here. But you try to that that string gets muted. So I lock in the two bottom strings. I play it like this, just like almost like the E minor. Just move this finger down to the third string. That's how I play a B minor. What they call a B minor 7. Not a B7. This is a B7. But uh, anyway. Anyway guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helps you. We got a lot more videos coming up. Hey guys. And again guys, I hope you guys like that. So it's it's a pretty interesting song to play. We got a lot more videos coming up, and also 
Um, I just got this hat. I found it at an exchange. So, paid like five bucks for it. But anyway, uh, ignore that. Edit that out. No, who's my editor? Edit that out, please. Thank you. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Don't forget to dream, explore, and discover.